Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. It doesn't take much to tick off liberals these days, and they proved just that during President Donald Trump's turkey pardoning ceremony. When the easily offended leftist spotted Trump's youngest daughter, Tiffany, they just about had a heart attack over her dress when they looked a little closer. Unfortunately for them, they seem to have forgotten one thing, and it's coming back to bite them on their hypocritical backside. There is a tradition that takes place at the White House every year just before Thanksgiving, where the president pardons one special turkey, sparing it from a Thanksgiving Day demise. Many people gather on the White House lawn for this special, fun occasion, including family and friends of the president. Of course, thanks to rabid liberals who look for anything to complain about, things would go a little differently following President Donald Trump's turkey pardon. As liberals go out of their way to find things to attack the man and his family over, it seems that even this light-hearted ceremony providing an opportunity for a leftist attack. Sadly, it seems that the liberal media found something worth criticizing in Trump's daughter, Tiffany, after seeing what she was wearing. Claiming something was missing from her outfit, leftist news outlets could hardly wait to sling their hate over Tiffany's bare legs. The Daily Mail put out an article decrying Tiffany Trump's dress as very short, BizPack Review reports. Forget something? Wrote Daily Mail's Charlie Langston, referring to the length of Tiffany Trump's coat. Sadly, they weren't the only ones to jump at the chance to slam the 24-year-old Georgetown Law student over her attire. Even though it was chilly coat weather in Washington, D.C., first daughter Tiffany Trump, 24 decided to turn heads by burying her long legs in a super short mini dress and equally short red jacket. While her older sister Rivka, 36, also wore a short skirt, she added warm black tights to her autumnal look. Tiffany on the other hand went with much more summery bare legs, showing them off from her thigh all the way down to her black high heels. It is November, so her very unseasonal wardrobe choice was a little confusing. She could definitely have used a trip to a spray tan salon if she was going to show so much late autumn pale leg. Of course, you didn't hear anything from the liberal media when Barack Obama's daughters, Malia and Sasha, wore short skirts and dresses of their own to their father's turkey pardon, and they were minors back then, meaning that their parents should have had a say, so this reflected poorly not on the girls, but directly on the then President of the United States who was supposed to be running a country but didn't seem to have much control over his own household. However, these are the daughters of a black Democrat, so they have double protection from the criticism of the liberal media. Only the daughters of white Republicans are fair game. I think we all remember the non-stop coverage of the Bush twins. Even Joy Reid, the famed idiot queen of hypocrisy over at MSNBC, couldn't pass on criticizing the Trumps either saying the president absolutely ruined the tradition for her. However, her senseless attack is easily countered with her own words. It seems that you just can't please everyone these days, especially when there is a different set of standards depending on which side of the political aisle you stand. After all, these are the same people who complain about President Trump's orange tan, then, in the same breath. They're now willing to criticize another member of the family for not being tan enough. Imagine if Barack Obama or his family were criticized over the color of their skin. At the end of the day, liberals are never going to be happy, and they're apparently blind to the truth on account of their bias and hatred. All they're doing is rendering their own opinions irrelevant as people are becoming increasingly tired of listening to their crap. Too bad for them, by the time they get around to raising real concerns, no one is going to care because we won't be listening anymore. Remember the boy that cried wolf? Yeah, it's like that, just more annoying. Share the story and leave a comment by clicking one of the buttons below. Follow us on Facebook at Mad World News. News.